All right, let's start learning about building some web apps with the uh, Google App Engine. Uh, what we're going to do together is we're going to make a, a web page called Movie Quotes. Uh, you can actually, if you want to, you can open your browser. Uh, you can go to my, my solution is probably up. Uh, so it's Fisher DS hyphen movie hyphen quotes, depending on what state mine's in. It might look like this. It might look slightly different. We're going to make some advances to it. Uh, what the movie quotes thing that we're going to build together is, is it is um, not logging in, so you're not logging in at all, so the, the whole world shares the same data. Uh, you can add a movie quote of your choice. Um, so I don't feel like being creative, I'll just say my movie quote. And then the movie was um, my movie, right? So this is a simple, silly quote uh, that I'm going to say. You can see that I've got some good ones in here. So, you know, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my bride, or you killed my father, prepared to die. Uh, from the princess, that uh, looks like I got a princess bridge in there. Some Terminator, some other things. So this top section is kind of like a form, and then you click Submit. Uh, it will load that data to the back end, so I'll actually, like, save it in the data store, uh, and then you will see it will display it here. So this one we're going to work through together uh, in a series of videos uh, to make sure you understand it. And then after you do that, you're going to kind of make your own uh, called Weather Picks. And that's going to be the lab where it's similar in that you're adding two strings. It's just that in this case, one of the strings is, an, is a URL. Um, and then when you display them, you'll actually display the image uh, and then the caption here. You can see that's a, a GIF, so it looks animated. So those are the things we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So in order to get started, what you're going to do is you're going to need to visit console.developer.google.com. It's a mouthful, I know. And create a new project. So go ahead and click Create Project. And you can call it Movie Quotes. That probably makes the most sense. And the URL that you should use is your username uh, hyphen movie hyphen quotes. You'll notice that I've already made one for Fisher DS, so it says that that's not available anymore. Um, just pretend like my username was Fisher DS2. Uh, yours should look like this, right? So you can go ahead and create a new app ID, so you're registering it with Google. Um, I've already done it, so I'm going to hit cancel. You should definitely hit OK, right? Once you uh, click that button, uh, it'll take a minute and it'll load. Um, and it'll show you a page that kind of looks like this. So it'll say your, your project ID at the top. Uh, and then it might have some some empty stats, right? Once that finishes loading, great. Um, to be honest, we really don't need this page anymore. I'm going to leave it up because I'll eventually come back here. And now we're ready to go write some code. And then once we've got some useful code, we'll, we'll deploy it to that location. So we're going to start from scratch. Whenever I start a new project from scratch, I prefer to use some sort of template, right? Eclipse can make you templates for Google App Engine. You could also just copy files from another project. It's really just an app.yaml, and it's a main.py, it's, so it's two files. Um, but I find that instead of starting from scratch, I like to start from a template. Uh, the best template generator is Google App Engine Launcher. It makes the two files the best, in my opinion. So say File, Create, New Application. Your new application uh, should be in some directory. So, you know, pick some directory uh, that you're organized with. So I'll say rows, web dev, uh, I don't know, I'll just put it right in videos. Uh, your application name, so this is your app ID, right? So this is Fisher DS Movie Quotes. Um, so that's my app ID. Note I don't put appspot.com, I just put the, the app ID. It then has a, a port number. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make the port number be 8080 and the admin port be 8000. You can set these to whatever you want, but if you load it from Eclipse, which I like to do these days, um, it will always use these numbers. So I set, I just always remember it's going to display on localhost 8080 and the admin port's going to be 8000. I just set them just, just like that, right? All right, so it's going to go ahead and create uh, that, that project for me. So it's going to use my path, and then it's going to make a new folder called Fisher DS Movie Quotes. So I'm going to say, OK. So it created it. And then I could leave it open, because I could use it to start the localhost running. Uh, I could also use it to deploy. Uh, but just, I've been using Eclipse lately, so I'm just going to 
I'm just going to close it actually. I, I don't need Google App Engine Launcher anymore. I'm going to choose to do it differently. If I go to localhost 8080 right now, you can see it's not running yet. Oh shoot, it is running. No, it's not running. Um, but there's nothing there. So now what we've got to do is we've got to bring this project into Eclipse. So you can see I've got my install test there from last time. The way I'm going to bring it in is I'm going to say new project. So it looks like I can say new project. I'm going to select PyDev Google App Engine Project. It's going to ask me for a name, and I'm going to say movie quotes. Um, I'm going to say web app. Uh, you can probably just say movie quotes. I'm going to very much uncheck use defaults because I'm going to go use the, the template that was generated for me by that Google App Engine launcher. And really, the only reason we use that at all is just I do like their templates, right? Their starting template. That's and that's it. And I think I've said that plenty. Uh, you can see that it'll it'll be your name. Uh, it'll be in this location. You might want to set your default interpreter just in case you have multiple interpreters set up. Uh, in case you have Python two and Python three, and you can say next. The next thing it's going to ask you is where is the Google App Engine directory? I'm on a Windows machine right now. So I'm just going to browse there. It's in Program Files, uh, x86, Google, Google App Engine. Uh, and so that's, uh, it looks like it's bringing in the things, which is good. If you're on a Mac, um, it would be different. You'd have to type in, I think it's slash USR slash local slash Google underscore App Engine. It's in the slides. Uh, but if you're on a Mac, it is a different path, of course. And then this is important. Instead of saying next, if I if I were to click next, it would bring me to the Eclipse template generator. I don't want that at all, right? So I'm just going to click finished right here, right now. Uh, and you can see that now it's it's brought in my project. If I want to open the app.yaml, I actually have to hit right click and say open with text editor. Um, and then I can look in here and I can see what did it give me by default. Uh, you can see it filled in my app ID correctly because Google App Engine Launcher, I told it, so it filled it in right. It gives me a fave icon, um, which is like a little Google Cloud logo. Um, it gives me the main.app, and it says I'm going to be using a Web App 2 uh, interface in here. And if I go into main, uh, you can see that it says hello world by default. If I wanted to see this in action, I have to run it. Um, I could run it from Google App Engine Launcher. That would be fine. What I'm going to do, choose to do, though, I'm going to run it just from Eclipse. I'm going to right-click on the project name. I'm going to say Run As. Uh, and then it says PyDev Google App Engine Run. I think you can see the word run, and that's about it. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and run it uh, from here. You can see in the console window, uh, it, as soon as it starts running, there'll be some red text show up. And then if I go back into localhost and I hit refresh now, uh, you can see that it uh, will say, hello world exclamation point, or at least it should. There it is, hello world exclamation point. If you wanted to change this, if you wanted to change the value, uh, the place where you're gonna change it, I mean, it should be pretty obvious. It says hello world right there. Uh, so we're just gonna insert something in addition to hello world. Uh, should be pretty simple. Uh, I'm just going to say, from Dave Fisher, I'm going to save main. You can see that it's not saved yet, but as soon as I save it, um, and then I refresh my local host, uh, you can see that it works. The other thing we'd like to do is we'd like to go ahead and deploy this uh, to, our, to our actual public version. And the goal here is that if somebody goes to, to Fisher DS, uh, movie quotes, they'll actually see something instead of nothing. Um, mine had something there already. Yours will be blank. Um, as soon as I do a deploy, it's going to put this up instead of what was there before. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy this guy. All right, so I'm going to deploy it. The way that I would usually do it is I right-click on the project. I say PyDev Google App Engine, and I say Upload. Uh, due to a little bug that I'm having, uh, I'm logged in with Rolls Holman Fisher, but this app engine was made under my Fisher DS account. So it, it's saying that I, I don't have access. Uh, that's fine. I, you know what? I don't even care. I'm just going to use Google App Engine Launcher because they both work. 
If I wanted to deploy it from here, I just highlight it, I click deploy, uh, and then I put in my information. And so if I wanted to, I could actually deploy from either place. Same as I could run local host from either place, I could deploy from either place. There's all kinds of ways to do things. So right now it's uh, uploading my app, uh, so I can see if uh, its progress is going well. So it says starting deployment, checking to see if it's succeeded. The thing you're looking for is like exited with code zero. Uh, so Google App Engine Launcher is a fine way to do things. So at this point, what I can do is I can go visit my, um, so this is my local host version. And then if I say Fisher DS movie quotes, it should now say hello world from Dave Fisher. All right, so I just like to do that. Um, <laughs> Really annoyed that my Eclipse version didn't work. I'll have to figure out a good way to log out and log in as a different person. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that you could get the project set up, uh, that you could set up um, an app ID, and that you could actually deploy before we start writing any real code. All right, so come back next time, and we'll start writing some real code uh, to start implementing movie quotes. See you then. Bye.